I'm Kathleen Hall. Today I'd like to talk about breathing. Change your breath, you do change your life. Many of us are running around stressed out, fearful, anxious, whether it's about a new job or not having a job or a relationship you have or your child or your partner, whether it's just anxiety or fear you have from childhood, there are a zillion reasons why to be stressed or anxious. But the key is the breathing, is, your breathing is one of the first things that changes. And truly, your breath, the quality of your breath, really uh, determines your mental and physical and even your spiritual health. Um, from the time we come out of our mothers and we take our first breath, which brings us life, till the time that we take our last breath on our deathbed, we just don't have enough reverence in this culture for the breath. Uh, it, is, it is our life force. It is the vital force of our life. And through ancient religions, ancient spiritualities, the breath has been one of the most sacred, honored um, practices, also revering the breath, that we've known. And we've lost that in this culture. So part of what I would like to do in mindfulness and mindful living is return us home to realize how important our breath is. Um, our bodies are made to breathe perfectly. We breathe in through our nose and there's spiral back in the back of our nose that takes that air straight down into our lungs. So by the time we breathe cold air or by the time we breathe dry air, whatever the situation is, our perfectly made bodies takes that air in through the spirals down into the depths of our lungs and it is warmed, it's moist, and it's perfect to do what it needs to do, which is give us life in every form. So we need to be breathing through our nose too. It's like a filter with bacteria and everything out there, pollutants. You have these hairs in your nose that are a filter, a natural filter. So great breathing begins with breathing through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. And another thing besides the structure of breathing, it's really important. Again, change your breath, change your life. Did you know that when you learn to breathe correctly, you can actually grow your brain? We have Harvard studies that show that the cerebral cortex actually grows when you breathe deeply and relax breathing, especially in meditation. Also, learning to breathe correctly can reduce your heart rate, your blood pressure, it helps boost your immune system, it helps your skin, because the more oxygen you're getting, the more that it gets out into your skin. So you can use all those face creams and do all those other things. But as long as you're nervous and you're starving that skin from oxygen, nah, it's just not gonna work. And then finally, epigenetics. This is gene expression. We know that when you breathe deeply and how you breathe and giving your genes and your body all that fresh oxygen actually affects gene expression. And it's also a wonderful preventative and a help in chronic conditions, whether it be anxiety, depression, cancer, heart disease. It actually helps a lot. We have a study that shows that they had two different groups that were in cardiac rehab. One just did cardiac rehab. The other did cardiac rehab and breathing practices. And five years later, it showed that the ones who also did the breathing practices, they actually had 33% less cardiovascular problems for the rest of their lives. So it really, really does affect all of these things. So let's just talk about a couple simple, a few simple breathing exercises. First is abdominal breathing, or diaphragmatic breathing is how we call it. You breathe in through your nose, and your lungs are expanded, your belly's out, because your belly and your lungs are full of air. Then breathe out through your mouth, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And remember, if you're doing this correctly, your belly should be expanded and should be out full bellied and your breasts, your lungs, your chest. When you have this full breath and then flat after you've exhaled. Okay, that's just simple abdominal breathing, relaxation breathing. And so what we suggest maybe is to the count of four. Inhale to the count of four, exhale to the count of four.
see how refreshing and filling and clearing your brain and your body that feels? It's just pretty cool. I love it. Then there's a bedtime breathing to help you relax and get ready for your bread. B bed. Excuse me. We call that the four, seven, eight breathing. Inhale to the count of four. Hold it to the count of seven. Slowly exhale to the count of eight. Okay? So it's going to look like this. Okay, inhale to the count of four. Hold to the count of seven. Exhale to the count of eight. So when you're in your bed, you can lay down and do that. Close your eyes, lie down in your bed, or sit up with your pillows up on your back. Also, if you have a partner, do it together. It's amazing how peaceful and loving you'll feel after you do this together. Then we also have anxiety breathing, you know, which alternating nostrils is a great way to lower your anxiety very quickly. Use your ring finger, use your right hand, the ring finger on your right hand and your thumb. Start by closing your left nostril with your ring finger and use your thumb. Inhale, close your right nostril. Exhale out of your left nostril. Inhale with your right nostril. And exhale with your left nostril. Inhale with your right nostril. Exhale with your left nostril. Continue and do that several times. Woo! Your head brain is so cleared out. It just feels like heaven on earth. And then we have something called performance or concentration breathing. I call this box breathing. I use this a lot with my middle schoolers and my high schoolers that I work with that have a lot of anxiety for test taking. So I help teach them how to take tests and with that, a crucial part is breathing. So in box breathing, I want you to imagine that there is a box, okay, four-sided. And what you do is you start up one side of the box, counting to five, then what you're gonna do is hold it to the next corner of the box to the count of five, then you're gonna exhale to the count of five, and then you're gonna hold it in your lungs again to the next corner of the box. So you've gone all the way around the box. That's why we call it box breathing. So let's try it, okay? To the count of five. And continue that. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Really helps with performance. If you have to do a big presentation or to help you concentrate for some kind of function, it's really fabulous. And then energy breathing, which is one that I love. I do this a lot when I'm flat in the afternoon, maybe about two o'clock, I start getting laggy. Or if I'm having a slow morning and I just can't quite get going. And what you do is pretend to go from your hips to the top of your shoulders and go hips to your belly button is, is one breath, belly button to the middle of your chest is two breath, up to the top of your chest is four, so you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down to your hips, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put your hands on your hips, then go up to your belly button is one, two is to the bottom of your breast, three is to the top, and four is to the top of your shoulders, and then back. And you're gonna breathe through your nose very deeply, and then exhale, it's a staccato. So listen to me, and I'll be counting, because I can't do both at the same time. So I'll be counting in my head, or you can count, and then I'll do the breathing to show you. Ready? <laughs> Do that several times and like right now I almost feel high. It is so much energy and it feels so delightful and so refreshing. So I've taught you just a few breathing techniques. Also, it's great to do these before you do a meditation. It clears the brain, clears the body. Also, don't forget, teach your children, 
teach your partner, your spouse, go to work, teach other people. We have to spread it around. Let's teach each other that we're holding our lungs in, our muscles, and we're only using three-fourths or, or um, three-fifths of our lungs. We're not expanding and using it for our health and well-being and our love of ourselves and our love of others. So remember, you change your breath, you change your life. I am Kathleen Hall. Thank you so much.